How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Welcome to Biomutant. Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a class. Commando. Cyphreak. Saboteur. Sentinel. S Commando. Deadeye. Com S 
Sentinel. Saboteur. Cyphreak. Sentinel. Sentinel chosen. Good choice. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Can't believe you'd choose that thing over me. But I'll be here waiting for you when- That thing? I'm right here. Let me remind you, we're two halves of the same. With the difference being I'm the better. Better half? My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. The best end is the one you decide yourself, and it seems we're headed in. Guess left can be right, sometimes. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes.
The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Grab and pull. The oil sludge is everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Pancakes, anyone? Someone will pay dearly for that.
the home stretch. You're half dead. Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight.
pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. That'll come in handy. Nothing like a little exercise. <laughs> Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. 
Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Just what you were looking for. Knock it downtown. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark. 
a facial scar to remember the past. Ato awa ya ea. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. Iboda Kelmok. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. Toledrea ya maoloa. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Bilia and Tuf. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Moomer knows you are here. <laughs> Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as... <laughs> he understands why you came all... <laughs> the Potato People, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Magic? He claims it's just the force of life, the existence of energy, powering and connecting all things living, like the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it, see if you... You found one. You should be. <laughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> the small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. <laughs> You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of key. <laughs> You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He... One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to die. <laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal, not only for our village. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. 
Not even your Mooma will be able to protect us. <laughs> he says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. <laughs> no, she's got lots. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's... The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eat The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse, the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land, set the world eater's DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the murk puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Noko has tamed the midget and is preparing to take on the hoof puff at the end of the east route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of... The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. He wants you to understand that you'll all die... Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world. Do wobble. You're getting the hang of it. The quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Know that the Tree of Life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. A signpost maps it out for the Carter graphically challenged. Let's see. be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. Look, a survivor. 
Glad to see fairy tale. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something... Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your... He can't understand why you'd do such a thing. He won't make it out of here on his own. Good work, clever clogs. Let me guide you into the dark. Seriously? I always thought better of you than that. And you were wrong. There's always more dark than light. There's still time to turn back. They're already heading down my road. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date knows you'll make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe. And there's two nearby. The Jagni tribe is likely to be your primary choice as they seek to become omnipresent and most importantly, feared. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of... The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or He believes the tribe Sifus, Jagni especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit. And he'll be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs>
They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the Tri War began. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Let's see. But I kill a real as Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. He let you in, but thinks you should be patient when it comes. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. He welcomes you to the Jagni fort and introduces him. The news of a cold-blooded ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. He's referring to your rampage through Bunker 101. It seems you don't mind a bit of blood on your hands. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still... Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. There were six of them, but the unity fell apart after Lupa Lupin attacked the old village. Soon after, they formed new tribes based on their own values, and when the blight started, the animosity escalated. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and says fear and hatred is the only path to domination. But you already know that. So embracing that side of you and help... He expected you join them. You understand that the universe runs on the principle that the one who dominates up... The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their... Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. 
You both share dark thoughts, so they want to wage a war. A war where all that's left behind tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn... Once you... Seeing you brings back... He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can... Anyway, you'll pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no... The gatekeeper welcomes you back to the fort. Says you should take... Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurred.
getting swole. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long lost past like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each to the point. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Learning to... He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Knowing how to swim won't solve life's hard... He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> At least you learned that you'll drive. But you need practice. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. Andro? You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. The dedication to training is important. You should know. She'll see you at the village square. Here's another familiar face with locks on his mind. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. It's your own future you're risking by not caring for the environment. The next... You should look for things that are recyclable. He wonders what usefulness you found. Sometimes he can work wonders with almost anything. That's the thing. He'd love to teach you to upcycle. And
Okay. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He appreciates those. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you... She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. She won't live forever, you know that. But she intends to... You've always followed your own... They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. That makes... He wants... She asks if you're hurt. What happened? Antoro. She says, It's in tele. The most important thing. Antoro. It's time to focus. Someone close to heart, doing what he does best? Yeah. He asks if you could help him, too, before you leave for training. He wishes that was true for your Mooma, too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu... He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle... He's curious. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to Bestilka. He's The style might be too edgy for his... You should take it with you. He's looking for... Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Been working on a present for you. You should go see him and...
catchy. Sanna jode. Your mu kana munta. A piece of kialdo male kana rotono. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Anaro lote. Says it's not a record keeper. Anaro lote. Your muma says you look tired. No one. Kialdo male kana rotono. Says a good rest. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop Lupa Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him come. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, 
It's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. The tribe's caught a fluffy hulk. Better watch out, it's no pet. Not your size, but it'll work. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. Better days. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and were looking forward to meet A group of Jagni warriors are already waiting for you at Mir- You should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. Mercy is for the weak. The Jagni- Look, an emergency box from the old deck. Wow, bet that knock makes a tight fist.
Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick. The Toxanol Corporation made this place, and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Well, small ones. Places like this were cheap back in those days, and there was plenty of space. Get done with one place, you... There must be a track somewhere in this brick. Let's see. It's Peekaboo Park. Young ones love this sort of place. Delicious. This one seems to be in good spirits, despite... ...has heard that you only follow your own personal code and is worried you've lost your respect for... ...asks you to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. 
is sad to see you're staying on this road to ruin and that you're so determined to help no one other than yourself. Yes, that's the way. No arguing. Sometimes your gut is... Don't ever doubt yourself. You are not... Even the dark knows you're better. Stick with me. That's a myriad tribe outpost. The Vespidat outpost, long-time home of the Myriad tribe. Says you need to hit them where it hurts, inflict as much suffering as possible, and make it clear your tribe is a terror to their existence. Triumph is always the culmination of many men. They're eager to start the Here's the first line of defense. It's a bomb lover.
Your spot wrecked it. Give those twirly wheels a turn. Yes, the river tubs going down the drain. Keep going. That cage is holding a helper. Says they've been treated fair, but is glad to see you. Hopes you'll treat the rivals with the wishes there was another way, but they'll do. A sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Better stay clear of the red ray. Here's the second line of defense. Red means danger.
timber. Better big bump will bring it down. Switched off the light. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it, then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks splody. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close, though. It's complicated. Give it another try. Kaboom! You're in. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Says you did a great job. Says you're lucky to have the honor. Out of date says he's doing his best to keep up, but from what he can tell, it seems you're making progress. Mpa, wherefore, where, where? He had a feeling you'd get a lot. You seem to get along with the Jagni tribe, which doesn't come. But out of date emphasizes that solving the tribe conflict won't matter unless you help make us. That's the sound of impending doom. Out of date's premonitions of imminent disaster are true. The porky puff needs to be handled. He says the time has come to confront the porky puff at the end of Kuchai. He far. Befarm. Goop is working on making his goo glide strong enough to break the waves out to... Could I? He far befarm. You should get over there and see what you can do to help.
If a story is about you, care for it. There's Subnautica Station. Goop flounders around in there. This might be the end of everything as we know it. says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from... Piran. Goop says... Piran. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only to... Tenko. He can't tell you much as he didn't want to hear anything about it. He can't understand how someone could be so vicious. Even... He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright. Now the time has come for you to remember and... He understands why you seek revenge, but he doesn't think you realize how that'll make you feel once... See? On my side. Go, Dark, go! Instincts can be truly awful. The fun thing is always the right thing. Darkly dark dark. Figures the world is a goner. Even the wishes you hadn't done so much to make the goo even gooier. Wonders why you're flapping around with the Jagni. They spend too much time nesting to do anything fun. But hey. Back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the... You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the Porky Puff. You're lucky that way. There's still cargo left on the shores from before the apocalypse. His best guess is a power tanker hit a reef and went under.
Take this seriously, or it'll take you down. Watch you, Flex. This day is as good as it's going to get.
Armored bad. Might not need that now, but you will later. Toxanol's offshore drilling caused oily matter to spread with the rain and contaminate both the groundwater and... Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Better get a move on if you want to change things. He's got the goo glide functional. You'll have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor and an end. There's debris floating around on the surf that might be blocking your path or needs to be towed. That means you'll need a device so you can get it out of your way. Goop says Gizmos devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks, squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself... The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the surfipelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able to give you direct... That's... Let's see. He seems happy to talk. Daik. 
He says you need... Says you must look at... Understand... He seems happy to talk. Says... As long as karma exists, the world changes and we change with it. Welcome to the Surfipelago, where the horizon rests on the surfy goo. You're poking around Pokpur, a prime village. This here is the Sinky Dink, home of Gulp, at the very least. Yeah. Let's see. He's pretty sure he's heard of you before, although the details are maybe a little hazy. Says it's both everything you could want. Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst to do something in this world. Good, bad. Wants to know if he could point you towards something fun to drink, so that you could share with the tipsy tips. Either way. Says life's like a mystery drink. Sometimes it's amazing, and sometimes it's awful. Sure, that's the point. But you can't stop. Says you respects how you take care of yourself first. It thinks it's funny you wound up with the Jagni. They drink so little. Guesses someone has to be, but he can't swallow But who cares about them? Says you'd be as bummed out as him if you came for the hot stuff. The glug mocker, Nimhim Bibble, and his favorite, Radium Syrup. That one, without a drink, and Radium Syrup especially, he can't move, much less think, as the power of his mind is directly proportioned. The drink helps him forget the state the world is in, but it only lasts until tomorrow. The world is still doomed, even if the sun goes up. Figures the real problem is finding He wants you to know he has other interests too. He's the surfipelago's self. There are other ways than a cold drink to relieve stress. Watching Pippi's flap is calming, but better yet are the ones you can look at and touch, like quacks. Squeezing them is a great way. Says he's not sure you can. Physically, that is. There's no squeeze in the world able to counteract it. Hopes you have a way to call him how to be Moulini.
says there's an interesting place nearby that La Surayafa eh, de Mefafa needs a logical reason to reveal the secret. says it's hard to keep a secret from someone as smart as you. My... You work well together with the Myriad tribe. Balance depends on opposite. Says you should... This speed, the goo is sublime. Gulp tells Gulp tells you to not forget the. The Quack Hollow, it's just lonely. Lockety locked. We're all heroes of our own stories. Or so we hope.
You're in pain. You can make something from that. A story has got to keep moving forward. You need to line up the switches so they match. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework.
That's enough quacks to sustain the googlide flipper with Goop says he was there when the Porky Puff took out of date's leg, so this world eater has made it personal. After that, out of date started using his head instead of his legs and came up with the plan on how to best make a stand against the world eaters. He seems happy to talk. Says you. Perhaps now you can see your targets better. Gulp says he'll bibble anything once, as long as it's drinkalicious, even rocket fuel. He once mixed... That leads him to the bottom of that particular bottle. He's not in a state to go looking, so he's counting on you to help. Go find it. Thanks you for understanding. The light shines on. Yes, break it in half. Crack. It's just a break. A break, as in broke. This can be fixed. Red soft, that's a monster nest, if ever I've seen one. Grab that steerer tight. It's the porky puff nibbling bark. It took quite a liking to the crunchy stuff after munching down out of date's leg.
Unleash the quacks. Ain't that cute? A tubing playing with quacks. Wind of change. Don't let this opportunity slide. He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. Even if Out of Date doubts your intentions, he depends on your help, and the Sifu is confident he'll let you know what you need. He trusts you know where to find Out of Date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed.
So many places to be today. Says you're on the right path, but should let the Lotus flood it all away with you. That's a Hope Hall. Some used to go there every week to join... That's a resource totem, a monument left behind by those that picked scrap, trying to keep the area clean. On, catch it.
Check out that e-waste. That's a good find. Wonders why you're wandering around in the day when all your enemies can find you. Says you. There it is, the tree of life. The idea that all life is related by common descent. Where the twigs are existing species, and those produced in the past represent the succession of the extinct. The tree's great branches were once budding twigs, a connection between the past, present, and future. A representation of all extinct and living species with its ever-branching and beautiful ramifications. We are an evolution of those that came before. Beefed up.
Take a moment to absorb the day. Sometimes your mind creates an illusion where it's possible to go back in time to relive a moment in your life. things in our past we wish hadn't happened, and can come to remember seeing and doing things that never happened. However, there's no doubt that what you remember makes your future different. Choose the automaton functionality you want to recall. Good thing you recalled how to activate the automaton's health injector. That will be useful. Let's see. It's a place well hidden. It's just below the above 